welcome to Chicka Wolf Ranch and uh, this is part number four of the part number four yeah I think it's part number four of the Dempster windmill rebuild and what you see right here is a pump that we picked up uh, a few uh, hour and a half from our house we picked it up a couple weeks ago and uh, we found it on uh, Craigslist I think or on, no I think it was on Facebook marketplace or something so this is actually from a dempster uh, windmill and the guy that I talked to thought that it was a 1925 model so it was pretty rusty so over the last week and a half uh, I've taken a wire wheel to it and uh, on my grinder and kind of knocked all the surface rust off <clears throat> and uh, I'll uh, put it, I'm got, getting ready to put it mostly back together and I'll show you how it goes together. Here's the top <clears throat> and I'll, uh, we'll put it back together, <coughs> excuse me, but I have one more part to paint. Here's what, this is the uh, drop pipe, I believe is what they call it. This hooks up, should sure I get this on camera, this, hook, this hooks up like this and it goes around those little knobs, but this is what uh, hooks on to the water trough, <clears throat> whatever animals that you're uh, feeding or however you want to uh, reroute the water. So I got the drop pipe for free. So thank you to, uh, uh, I think it was David that I bought it from. If I'm not right, I'll put his name right there. So thank you, David. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I need to paint this part still, and I went ahead and painted it black because that's what I have. I would have rather painted it red, but I didn't have red, so sorry if I offended any uh, originalists out there or, so, but it was just black, as black as what I have. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this, and I'll come right back, and we'll put it back together and I'll show you how this uh, pump works. All right, so before we uh, put it back together, I wanted to show you the bottom of the pump, uh, kind of the business end, and the problems that I had uh, after I had gotten it. Okay, so the owner, um, he uh, basically harvested this pump from a, an old non-functioning windmill and what he did was is he cut he cut it off flush with the reciprocating saw he cut the the drop pipe um, and this is inch and a quarter and it's the cast iron you can see so my problem was and you can see it's all egg shaped uh, I could not get a good wrench on uh, my pipe wrench on here because it was cut flush so after trying and trying and putting PB Blaster uh, inside up on the threads on both ends and waiting a couple days, um, it still wasn't working. I tried um, heating it and that didn't work either. So uh, I finally drilled a couple holes uh, in the side and then I put my, I put a bolt in there to try and keep it from spinning. And this is this is the bolt. I don't know if it's going to go back in or not. I think it will. Anyway, you can see how mangled it is. I eventually got it to turn, and it was only because I used heat and. Uh, and it was I the heat where it threads on is about right here so uh, I heated that part up and used this I think it's gonna go back in let me show you anyway this was a terrible frustration for me because I didn't think I was gonna get this pipe out of here and if I if I couldn't get this pipe out of here it wasn't really gonna work very well so what I did ended up doing was putting this on here and using the pipe wrench 
on this and turning it like that. So that's how I ended up doing it. This was Wendy's idea. <clears throat> we were out here working on it and uh, so I have to give Wendy the credit on this one but that worked out that worked out perfect and so now you can see it's turning so I left the pipe on there to save the threads and as you can see I still need to paint uh, on the bottom and inside of here to keep the rust from uh, being so bad so anyway let me put it back on the floor and we'll put it together Oh, and I for almost forgot. And one other frustration that I had was this uh, screw that was in here that looks like Oh, and I forgot to mention uh, the screw that went in here um, sheared off when I tried to take it out. Uh, it did it looked like this. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to uh, find somebody that has, that can re-thread this for me, or if I can find somebody that's got uh, a tap, I can re-tap that. And I, I'm pretty sure what this is, <clears throat> is just to let the water out when um, it freezes so it doesn't bust your pipe. So this is really just meant to be hand tight. Um, so I could put a cork in there. Or or something so um, yep that was my other frustration and as you can tell I didn't drill it perfectly center so we may have problems there anyway I don't know but we'll move forward okay let's put it together okay I think I got I think I've got most of the background clutter out of there okay so we'll start with the top part here and as you can see I don't know what they call this part, but um, it's got three uh, set screws, and it goes on just like that, and we'll just hand tighten them for now. Okay, <clears throat> and then these, these two go in here and twist. And this is for the sucker rod, which is right here. This is the sucker rod. This is the rod that would go down to the actual pump part. Okay, and so I probably ought to explain this pump anyway. So this pump is, is a lifting pump and not a sucking pump. So there's no leathers inside of here, kind of like a pitcher pump. So really what this pump does is it, it allows you to hand pump, and I'll show you that here in just a second. It'll, it's got a handle, uh, kind of like a pitcher pump. But this rod goes up and down, and this sucker rod goes all the way down to the series of check valves that um, essentially bring the water up from the bottom. It doesn't suck, it actually uses check valves down at the bottom to bring the water up. So I'm not sure how <clears throat> deep you can have uh, a pump like this. I'm, I think it's a, maybe 150 feet is what I remember. It's pretty deep. Um, a sucking type pitcher pump I think will only work there's some sort of, depending on your altitude, uh, it has something to do with um, the atmosphere and how, how much it can suck, it is how deep you are. So it's probably, in, I, think, I think I figured in our area it was about 15 feet, maybe 18, I'm not, I don't remember. Anyway, this is going to be a lifting pump, so we're not worried about that. Okay, so... <clears throat> I need to put this part in first before I do these. Did that wrong.
Okay. And here's the, <clears throat> let's see, this, this control arm goes right here. And I'm going to grab a part back here. Where are they? I'm gonna, here's my pin. I'm going to put this in here just to hold this temporarily. Let's see. This one, this is uh, the control arm for the pump. And here's another pin. These pins, I'm going to uh, go to the hardware store and see if I can find some replacements because they're a little chewed up. So that goes in right there. <clears throat> then here is the actual pump part for the hand pump. And another pin. And here's where I need two sets of hands. Got it? Okay. Right there. All right, and so <clears throat> that's essentially how it goes together. It's really simple. Um, this is the part that goes on here that would go that would attach. Oops, I'm gonna get raise you up a little bit. This part would attach to the uh, the windmill, and actually, I've got this one in the wrong spot. It goes on this one. There, okay. So let me raise you up a little bit more. So this, this piece right here goes on like this. And then your board uh, or your piece of wood that goes up to the windmill attaches right here. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Um, again, I've been working on this for, oh, week and a half, two weeks. And um, I think it's looking pretty good. I just need to get uh, those, those new pins right there. That one, that one, and that one. And those should be pretty easy to find at the hardware store. <clears throat> but uh, I'll be getting this on the windmill. When the windmill's ready, I'll have to build a new platform uh, that's a little more sturdy because uh, this thing weighs quite a bit. And I want to be able to get into the well while the pump is on there. So I'll have to build some sort of trap door um, that I can still get into the well and bring sand or whatever out so <clears throat> that's it for you today uh thanks for watching chicka wolf ranch and uh, we'll see you next time Bye.